Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. And though some glimmer of hope may remain, the threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Where am I? What's going on? Awful smell! Are you okay? I, I have no idea. Who are you? Jesse! Jesse! Where are you? Say something, Jesse! We're coming! No way! No way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? Get out of here now! This way! Jesse! You made it! And... Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! Soren, who cares? Who cares? I've devoted my entire life to these creatures. So you're ready to die for them? Well, no. <laughs> Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I look. Everyone, follow me! This is Jesse, the worst ride of my life! It's gaining on us! No offense, but you can use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Try to 
knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. Actually, freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you. Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you. <sighs> Who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You, you're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the Witherstorm, trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Magnus. For a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend. All I know is he'd want us to keep fighting no matter what. And for us to keep blowing the crap out of stuff. <laughs> You're right. He would. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is! Oh, great! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one Witherstorm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? You have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. No, 
There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. sit here and don't move or breathe it's almost bearable man if it wasn't for ivor she wouldn't even be like this ah no kidding that's not exactly true ivor built the wither sure but he couldn't have done it without that skull i gave him if i just taken a second to think about it all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't all on you, and you know it. I was in on the deal, too. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. Well, I was your henchman. So, based on the transitive property of henchmen. Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. <sighs> Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No, the number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay, I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're alright. Thanks. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. 
one minute I think I'm talking to a friend. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but... She's your friend. She's been your friend for a very long time. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! You understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? future. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for once, Soren. I did that by locking the command block away. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Withers gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least 
in theory. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Huh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet, so if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. We're not safe anywhere, are we? Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out the Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help. And that's what I must do. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. Everyone take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. See you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. there.
there yet? Not much further now. No, 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 we are not there yet. Oof. My rear end is profoundly sore. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. All right, let's just rest for a minute. Everyone's hungry, and we could use a breather. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? You're coming with me. Not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? Actually, yeah, some potatoes, but it'll have to wait. 
There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. She's here! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. Later, you nasty old thing. <gasps> oh no, skeletons! <sighs> Witches and skeletons? That's a really bad combination. You're right. Her potions combined with their arrows? The far lands are just past the swamp. But they've seen us. They'll just follow us. The rest of you go. I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no. There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall! The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion! Come on! Hold on to your potatoes! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow? and raise you up. Whoa. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Hey, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. Ivor really went out of his way to make sure he'd never have visitors, huh? He was always secretive. It was both his weakness and his strength. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Petra were here. I know what you mean. Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. Some way around. We followed Ivor to the Far Lands. We might as well keep going. <sighs> Here we go. Into another dungeon of doom. Is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. The Far Lands may be perilous, but they are indisputably fascinating. We should probably keep moving. Guys, looks like this is a... Jesse! There's too many! We can't fight them all! Everyone, back! Guys, climb the vines!
Well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. Safe to say, the Far Lands are strange. Olivia! Some redstone dust handy. 
and a slime ball. Stone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. Have you found a way out of here? A way out? I only just found you. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, at least we're back together. Yes, the Dream Team reunited. <laughs> now the Dream Team's just gotta find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Come on, you'll figure it out. You know you always do. <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. Who cares what she said? I do. She's the greatest Redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? You know what? We're better than them. Better than the Order? I don't know about that. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Something that actually matters. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You found Eligard, I found Magnus. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Sooner the better. Okay, a redstone block. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. 
Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Go, go, go! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it! What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> I'm afraid of flying too, Soren. Really? Ah! No, not really. Just wanted to see if you'd bite. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. Wood planks, those will be useful. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go. Good old fashioned lever. was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. A secret passageway. Why would you build a secret passage in a house nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find! Whoa! What is all this? Huh! Incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered... what, exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't 
don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. So where'd this packed ice come from? Eh, we brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item? We might need it to unlock that door. Oh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Am I crazy, or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. Sea lantern, huh? These gas tiers, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Just gotta borrow this. Sorry, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh. Alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Looks like a regular hopper. That's hooked up to a bunch of redstone circuitry. Man, Ivor sure does love his puzzles. Huh, five slots. Gassed tears. So let's try them here. Prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. A sea lantern. In you go. Packed ice. Let's put it here. Yes! You solved it. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> We're missing something here, Soren. And I have a feeling the key might be locked in that head of yours. I have a key locked in my head? What I'm saying is, I think you need to tell me about the Ender Dragon battle. Oh, huh. if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. 
We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. Soren, you are so full of it. Why would you say that? For starters, because you're afraid of flying. Well, oh, okay, but on barges, not dragons. And besides, you made it sound like you were the only one who mattered. I was the leader. Believe you me. Whatever. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Hmm, interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another door? Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore. Soren, you said destroying these crystals was the key to defeating the Ender Dragon. You did kill the Ender Dragon, right? Jesse, this isn't, this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. So what really happened, Soren, if you didn't destroy the Ender Crystals? I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I think it's time to start talking. Oh, I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it, it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, you didn't even fight it. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. I knew your story didn't add up. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. 
I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated the dragon. Soren, you cheated. You, you worse than cheated. You're a fraud. Believe me. I know. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor, how long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. Yeah, I think you are. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor, why is is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, this wither you unleashed, has all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson! To show you who the Order really are! Liars, cowards! And now, they know! And how is that any better? You reveal their lies at the expense of the world itself? Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Which brings us back to why we're here. We need to destroy that command block. Like now! Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. This thing better work, because if it doesn't... You don't need to say it. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor? I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well... It doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see, there's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! So, I can craft whatever I want. An axe. Guess I... A pick... A shove... A hoe... I've never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold! My enchanted diamond sword! <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the Order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. And believe me, they're all excellent. All right, let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable and sturdy. They won't stop damage, but they'll help. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. How do 
I look? Ready for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Makes you all a lot easier to look at. Good to see you too, Axel. Do you still have the amulet? Safe and sound. That's not the problem. Then what is? The Endermen. They're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, oh, They've kept the main Witherstorm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. And Eligard ran off to fight that day, all by herself. She's fighting a Witherstorm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... of the, uh... Order of the Stone? ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed! Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? They're frauds, the whole order. What? It's kind of a long story. One we don't have time for right now. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. She's still in that cave. I hope she's all right. She will be as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... Do we just go for it, or what? We need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa. That is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Oh, and I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. Anyone see the command block? We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Storm! How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, you coward! I can't believe you! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? Yes, 
They're falling for it. Axel, are those snowballs? Yeah, I found them near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like this. Come and get me. Ruben, can you give me a little help? <laughs> nice one, Ruben. need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have fireworks and TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some leftover slime from the maze. I have some wool from Soren's place. Oh. And I still have that mine cart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean... If we use the TNT on, say... A minecart? Or those pistons... Guys, check it out. Use the pistons, the redstone, and the TNT. Build a TNT launcher. And I climb on, and you guys blast me all the way into the wither storm. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! <laughs> Lucas, I need a hand here. I can do better than that. Hey, Witherstorm! Over here! Lucas. Now let's hurry up and build this thing. Eyes on me, you great big bully! You guys done yet? Just need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on! And Jesse? I know you can do this. So do I. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. <laughs> Ruben, this is no place for us. Ruben, you shouldn't have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay?
we made it angry. Some weapon, don't fail me now. I mean it this time. Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... Reuben, where's Reuben? I thought he was with you. You did it, Jesse! You actually did it! Hey, do you guys hear something? Reuben! Oh 
no. Reuben. You're a hero. You know that? You just helped save the world. Come on, Reuben, say something. Reuben, don't do this to me. I need you, boy. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. You're right. They do deserve to know. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why, there is something I want to tell you, about the Order. The Order of the Stone is not what you all believed. We were frauds. We used the command block to falsify our legacy. We were no heroes. So it is time for the world to celebrate new heroes. Real heroes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something. But the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I, I also had my pig, Reuben. He may have seemed just like any old pig, but he was my best friend, my most loyal companion. I'll really miss the little guy. We all will. Anyway, it's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the Far Lands. There was this gigantic wall and a huge maze and a model of the Ender Dragon that, well, you just had to be there. 
But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? Sticking together, being a team. Because even when we were tired or hungry or just playing cranky, we only won because we worked together. For the team! Jesse, this nether star is all that remained when the wither storm was destroyed. Would you please do the honors? This is gonna be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born. One whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one. <laughs>